Hey guys, so I got some packaging of my art supplies and they finally arrived. I have this little package and a big box and I'm going to open them for the first time. Well, I, of course I've opened them, but I have not looked at them so we will be looking at them together for the first time. And uh, I can display the items here and these are just my um, topics that I have now at the moment. Lots of blues, pinks, reds, and a few yellows and tans. So what I, oh, what I ordered was um, refills and some extra, some like few Copics that I needed and um, some glitter pins because I really would like to get some of those. Those look really cool. So let's open the first package. This is the smaller one. Ooh, okay. My first refills. Let's see. It's um, Skin White, Robin's Egg Blue, and Frost Blue. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's my dog. And <laughs> sit. Good boy. These look really neat. Not ever seen refills in person before. <clears throat> so now let's go to the next box. And if y'all are wondering, my three uh, refills that I got here were um, from Blick, Dick Blick Art Supplies. And you can get those, um, order them if you do not have the store. Like me, I do not have Dick Blick in Texas. So I ordered them and they came in um, in a less than a week. So they are really good at shipping, in my opinion. And so these, ooh, ah, yay. Um, these are from Joann's. You can look at them for a little bit. Um, there's like some, um, Copics, a refill, and the glitter pins, and the Copics that are in here are the original, uh, which are my first uh, time getting original, and if you don't know, that's just kind of the based off of the shape and um, the tip point, so I could take those out and show you. So the difference here is um, this one that I'm holding right now is a sketch marker and the one I'm holding is N5 neutral gray. Um, if you look at it, the it's a it's called sketch cuz it's like a longer brush for you to have smooth long strokes. And um, this one, this is one of my newest ones that I just got because they're it's the original. And this is N8 and I'm going to open it for Ooh, see, look, that's like a fine tip point. Very, uh, compare them. Um, they're quite different, if you can tell. Hold on. There you go. So the top one is the sketch, and the bottom one is the original. Gotta make sure I get the caps on correctly. They're very it's comfortable. I've never held one before, so I'm very excited. Uh, and overall, I have two um, refills from Joann's, um, uh, the Ice Mint BG53 and Water Lily RV00. I use Water Lily quite a lot, so I needed this, and then I use my blues, and I got some pink ones to go with my fluorescent pink Copic, and then... I have some nibs for my, hold on, I think I might have ordered the wrong nibs, because I couldn't find them on Joann's, and this is the closest one because it said brush, and that's kind of, the, that's the name of the nib for the sketch, but if you look, they're very tiny, so I'm assuming these go with the original. Oh well, it's always good to have them anyways. And then my glitter pins. I've got green, blue, and a silver, but I also ordered pink. And it said if uh, not 
all the things are together, they're probably going to be separate. So hopefully I get my pink glitter bin soon because I'll be needing it a lot. Um, I really can't wait to test these. If, let's see if I open it. It's like very tiny ball pin, um, ball point tip. So I'll try those out later and I can do my refills. But for now I'm going to keep them in their packaging. look you can kind of see it all so I went and got my um, sketchbook so I can show you the glitter pins and the difference between the sketch and the original once on paper I haven't used the glitter pins before um, but I've seen videos and they're you know just a normal pin with tons of glitter and I have seen so many good reviews that's why I was so eager to buy them and also, I just love glitter. <laughs> so, this is my um, R32 Sketch Copic. And if you can, I'm not sure if you can tell. Here, I can get, put these down for a second. And you can see right here, it's just brush strokes. And then compared to the original, because it's such a smaller point, I'm assuming it's going to be, ooh, look how pretty that looks. <laughs> so, let's see if I can get a grip on the paper. And I'll show you here. So they're like more of like a lining and maybe coloring. It's very pretty and bright and then it dries a little darker, which is nice. And, let's see, so, sketches, I think, in my, are a little more better for coloring, so this could be for detailing. I don't fully understand how you could, like, use these for art projects, because there's such a fine tip point. Maybe good for smaller drawings, if you like to draw small and not so big. I like to draw big, and mostly take up a paper. A huge paper that's what I do but if you do small I think a, um, original Copics would be good for you I mean they work either way I'm just saying in my opinion I think it works best do these fit oh, yeah, they do. okay <laughs> so let's try out the glitters let's see we're gonna use the blue I'll put, put the blue here where you can see There is a lot of glitter coming out of that. And then, oops, we're going to do silver, I or the white. I was hoping to do this just so it can have glitter and not, like, show up any color. For, like, an outline, maybe. And then the green. I like the green. It's very pretty. Oh, oh, there's, like, Lots of glitter, um, not so much showing up on the white, and the green, just a barely, you probably won't be able to see the glitter from this camera, but there is a lot of glitter from the, the blue, and not so much of the white or the green. Um, they probably, let me see if I can try, if I used... Probably too much of a dark Copic to use, but mm. it kind of shows up. Yeah, it's it's dominant, so it works well. Here, my camera. There you go. So you probably can't tell, but I just did a small little swiggle line on top of the Copic, and it, it shows up pretty well. So I'm I think these work good. I'll have to keep using these. Um, I have this, a, a jelly roll pin, but it comes out silver and not so much of the um, glitter. And of course I use a white gel pin. Here you can see this easy. Um, it's like for outlining glares. 
putting in glares. Um, so yeah, that is everything that I've ordered, and I'm very happy with that, all the outcome. So thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.